benchmark five strategies. So now you're going to write some strategies that you're going to share with the teacher and or parents. And um, the, their prevention strategies, their short-term prevention strategies. What will the adult do or put in place to help the child learn a new behavior? And how will you do this? So for example, if the child is having trouble transitioning, they might give the child a 10 and a 5 minute warning that will be time to transition. That's a strategy. You might use a transition song in order to let the child know that it's transition time. You might talk to the child about what activity will happen next or offer a choice if one is available. So that's a prevention strategy. Then you need a replacement skill. What do you want the child to do? What's the desired behavior or the replacement skill? For a child that is having trouble transitioning, the desired behavior will be for the, the child will transition between activities calmly and without distress. What new responses will there be? How will you respond to the child's behavior now? So how will you or the parents respond to the challenging behavior? When the child demonstrates old behavior, such as crying and temper tantrums, I will speak softly to the child and reassure him that he's safe. I might ask them to stop and take a breath. Um, I, will offer, I will offer a choice. We're going to lunch now and center time is over. Would you like to walk now holding my hand or walk beside me not holding my hand? So that's a choice that you can give. That's a, re that's a, a replacement skill for the challenging behavior. And then um, to new skills, when the child actually follows through, how will you um, respond or how will you tell the parents to respond? And you might suggest that you would affirm that the child, uh, when he transitions calmly, say something like, I see that you're ready to move from centers to lunch. I'm so glad that you can do this now all by yourself. So you might have to give the words to the parents or the teacher um, that you want them to use. Oftentimes, parents especially get stuck in negative, con negative speech. You need to teach them how to use positive speech.